congratulations with tonight's performance. Uh, I can't believe we're almost at the end. So after tonight's trio performances, how did you first figure out what kind of pockets you guys would be singing and how did that impact your vocal ranges throughout your performance? The the trio song was definitely a, a different vibe and different thing than I thought uh, I, I could sing or whatever uh, in that matter. But <clears throat> it made me do a really, really high note in one of the spots. <laughs> and uh, that was scary. And uh, but, you know, what was great is we kind of talked about this. It was good having friends there to have your back. And, you know, that's what made it just fun. Um, but I, I don't think it I'm, I'm trying to grasp everything. But like I just had a blast doing it. And I think just going towards, you know, my solo performance, uh, it just loosened me up because, again, we just got to have fun with uh, the trio and again, doing it with friends and uh, people that I'm a fan of. It was just a lot of fun. So. Yeah, it was definitely different for me because I don't ever, you know, hardly sing songs out of country music and, um, you know, getting to get up there and sing with, you know, Cam and Corey was really, really amazing. You know, I, I've made great friendship with their, friendships with everybody here since I've been on the show and something that'll last, you know, forever. And, you know, when we got done, I was like, damn, can we do that again? That was fun. It's, you know, that was really fun. So I don't know if I can say, say it cuss on here. Sorry. But, um, you know, it was it was it was a great time, you know. And, uh, um, yeah, I had a blast doing it for sure. Yeah, I know for me, it was a song I don't think I would even consider to think to even have come out of my mouth. But I'm glad that I did it. <laughs> Um, it pushes me to just be even more versatile than I am. I just had a lot of fun singing with um, Jordan and Rachel. It's a nice, like I said before, it's a nice breather when it comes to such a high pressure competition show like this. To be able to sing something without having the competitive aspect added into it is, I think it's important for us to just have those times, just have fun. And I'm glad that we finally got that time. I think just as a group, we worked with our vocal coach and we also worked together to figure out which parts best suited, you know, each performer. And then we really just also went with that vibe of, you know, what was, what came natural. So we kind of did a combination of those two things and then, you know, kept pushing. Yeah. Um, the vocal coach, you know, like kind of came in after our first rehearsal and sort of helped us massage a couple parts into place, but it was definitely, at least specifically for me, because it was me and two girls. So um, we all just kind of immediately fit in certain spots, you know, and, um, and then we just spent our own time just singing it over and over again. It was interesting balancing our solo performance and the cheer performance, but I think <clears throat> we just all pulled it together because we're all really close. And so it was almost just like a jam session for us to just do this. And everyone loves the 70s songs. I, we had Fleetwood Mac and it kind of just worked um, with ours, like having Jordan and then his, his the two little girls. Now it just kind of, it fit really perfectly. So arranging it um, was really fun. Um, I guess for us, it was kind of like, we, we could basically sing anything. And so it was like, whoever, you know, wanted to go first. And I think one of the particular lines said something about being a man. So we knew Vic was going to take that. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's just kind of how it went. We just kind of was like, you do this, you do that. It wasn't a specific thing except for that one line. But um, like she said, we're all really close. It was just really fun to do. And um, I think it turned out amazing. Dana is a super arranger. I'm going to just mm -hmm. put that out there. She really pulled this thing together. That's her strength um, coming from the, the background vocalist world. She's like a phenomenal arranger. She can arrange anything like at the drop mm -hmm. of a dime and it just worked. Like she and I both have like pretty, uh, we can go high, we can go low, but it just worked out the way that it did. We all had, all three of us had moments to shine within the song. So it wasn't like anybody was lost in the sauce. So one person was shining more than the next person. It just, it was mm -hmm. just, it was perfect to me. It was yep. perfect. <laughs> yeah, yep. what she said. Yep. 